Over the Queen's long reign, she not only owned some incredible vehicles, but would drive and be escorted in a collection of cars that would catch the eye of any enthusiast. To list every vehicle in the royal household would be a scrolling register of exquisite machines produced by several manufacturers from different nations, although the love of British manufactured cars is clear when you glance at the vehicles the late Queen Elizabeth II had in her private collection. Supercar manufacturer Aston Martin sits alongside Jaguar and Bentleys and even a Maybach. Vehicles within the Royal Mews have also gone in and out of service with displays at museums and royal properties to be viewed by the public. Our list is non-exhaustive, and so if you know of any other vehicles, please drop them in the comments below as we wanted to run through some highlights. First up, the Bentley State Limousine that many would associate with the Queen due to its use both in the UK and overseas as the main road transportation of Her Majesty. The vehicle was commissioned in 2002, and two were built using the Bentley Arnage platform of the time to create an armoured limousine to meet the specifications of royal requirements. This was not the first vehicle Bentley had built for the royals, and it is still in use to this day. It was used as transport during the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II for both King Charles on the way to the funeral and Kate, now Princess of Wales, during the procession after the service. It is powered by a 6 and 3 quarter litre V8 engine, producing 400 horsepower and 1,616 pound-feet of torque, although it is unlikely to have a need to call on its power reserves. A Rolls-Royce Phantom limousine purchased in 1950 would be the transport of Elizabeth II in 1952 on her way to become Queen. Three Rolls-Royce Phantoms are in the royal household, with two more purchased in 1978 for the Silver Jubilee and in 1987. The original Phantom IV is the only one of its kind, with the other two both Phantom VI models. The early one is a 6.2 litre V8 and the second a 6 and 3 quarter V8 motor. The Jaguar Mark V not only personified the craftsmanship on offer by the luxury car brand, but caught the eye of Queen Elizabeth II. However, this would not be the only Jaguar to catch the Queen's eye. More recently, she was pictured driving her 2009 Jaguar X-Type Sovereign Estate, equipped with a V6 engine. It was sold in 2016. As mentioned in our recent buyer's guide for the Jaguar XJ, the large luxury saloon has been in the choice of British politicians and royalty for some time and two 2012 stretched versions of the Jaguar XJ are in the royal household. Queen Elizabeth II's final vehicle to be transported in was the last of the line Jaguar XJ, heavily modified with her input to become the hearse that would transport her to her final resting place and would meet an RAF C-17 Globemaster to transport her back to Buckingham Palace after her death at Balmoral Castle. Among these luxury vehicles, the Queen was also seen in a host of more ordinary vehicles. In 1961, a Vauxhall Cresta PA Friary estate was purchased, which the Queen used as a family vehicle and drove the future King Charles III in as a young boy. She later owned a Vauxhall Cresta PC, and before both Vauxhall vehicles, she had a 1956 Ford Zephyr estate, costing £871 when it was new. There was also the Rover P5B, a particular favourite at the miles driven after getting behind the wheel of a restored example in 2021. The Queen's was produced in 1971, and although the P5B is closely associated with Prime Ministers of the era, the Queen was not only driven, but on occasion would drive herself around London in the vehicle. It is now on display at the Heritage Motor Centre in Gaydon, UK. The Royal Family's long relationship with both Bentley and Rolls-Royce has brought them into the latest generations of vehicles, both in SUV form with the 2017 Bentley Bentayga and the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Both attended the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II as transport for the royal family. The royal family have also had a long attraction to Daimler vehicles, holding both a classic Daimler DS420 and a newer Daimler V8 Super Saloon long wheelbase, producing 375 brake horsepower and painted British racing green that the Queen and her husband Prince Philip were both seen in during the three years the vehicle was their personal transport. In that time it covered 11,000 miles and it would be sold from the collection with a total of 16,000 miles on the clock, including the 2,500 miles that Daimler had test driven the car prior to delivery for final checks. A list of the Queen's vehicles wouldn't be complete without mentioning Land Rover. A Series 1 Land Rover was acquired in 1953 with custom rear platform for standing passengers and in 2015 an L405 Range Rover with hybrid powertrain was also acquired. The Queen was said to have a particular affection though for her 2002 Land Rover Defender, equipped with a TD5 engine. It was also common to see her driving an L322 Range Rover, a vehicle that she clearly adored due to its constant use even as newer models were released. 
The final official engagement Queen Elizabeth II would need to be transported to would end up being in her L322 Range Rover. This snapshot of the Queen's cars has missed many classics included in the Royal Muse, to include the Aston Martin DB6 used by William and Kate during their wedding, the Alvis TD21 Series 2 drophead and the Gonda 3 litre drophead coupe. The Queen and Prince Philip clearly both had an enthusiasm for cars, and this appears to have trickled down with their son, King Charles III, the owner of the above-mentioned Aston Martin DB6, along with previously owning both an Aston Martin V8 Vantage Volante and his sons both the recipients of fast Audis in recent years. As ever, if you have enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like so that others can find it. And don't forget you can listen to us over on the Miles Driven Podcast or check out the website themilesdriven.com.